स्टार्ट अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग दैट इज द एयर फ्लो एयरपोर्ट प्लानिंग एंड डिजाइन ओके सो अंडर द एयरपोर्ट प्लानिंग एंड डिजाइन द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज अवर एयरपोर्ट प्लानिंग सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक इन द एयरपोर्ट इंजीनियरिंग दैट इज अवर एयरपोर्ट प्लानिंग ओके सो द एयरपोर्ट प्लानिंग द डेटा रिक्वायर्ड बिफोर द साइट सेलेक्शन ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल there should be a site proposed for the construction of airport and whenever the airport construction is suggested then first of all we need to select certain parameters that which site is suitable for our airport construction because a lot of parameter should be need to study before deciding the most suitable site for the airport construction okay so now we are going to discuss what are the site what are the features that should be keep in mind while selecting the airport site okay so the site selection for the new airport is the very first step in the airport planning the site selection in fact is the very first step for the airport planning and the information that is collected during the airport planning the first is your peak hourly volume of the air traffic to be handled just like in our highway engineering we had discussed what is the traffic volume what is the maximum amount of traffic volume which is going to use the road for which we design the roadway alignment the similarly whatever be the maximum or the hourly traffic hourly air traffic volume here in in place of traffic volume we will be using air traffic volume because air is the medium of travel so what will be the peak hourly traffic uh, hourly air traffic volume that we should keep in mind okay the second is your present and the future type of aircraft which may use the airport because during the war time it may be required that your airport your domestic airport may be used for the military purposes so you should design the airport that in the present scenario as well as in the near future what other different types of aircraft that can be using my airport okay so not only your cargo and domestic aircraft there can be the military base aircraft and the certainly specially designed high capacity military aircraft so you need to study what are different type of aircraft and their types that can be using my airport in my near future as well as in the present scenario so this study is also plays a very important role for the airport planning the third is also important that is the facilities that should be promoted for the passenger baggage and the cargo for handling and take off what other facilities that is to be there in the airport apart from the aircraft operation and maintenance purpose what other facilities that we need to provide like waiting lounge taxi bay designing and the parking facilities and the handling cargo section all other facilities should be study before the airport site selection okay now what are the regional factors that we should keep in mind before selecting any site for the airport construction the very first is the regional plan what is this regional plan the regional plan denote the regional topography of your area okay so what is the regional geography of the area where the area comes whether it is under the high economic zone or where it is least developed area what sort of area is that where we are going to propose the aircraft okay A airport planning okay so the first is your regional plan you should be well aware of the locality about its local and the geographical location about its political and the economic importance all sort of things you should be need to be in your beforehand before any site selection okay so the first factor is your regional plan second is your airport use you should also keep in mind that whether it is my domestic aircraft whether it is my domestic airport or whether it is my international airport or it will be only for the handling for the cargo purpose or whether it is my military base airport what is the purpose of the construction of the airport what sort of domestic purpose international purpose or the military purpose that is going to be used by the construction of the airport that should be your second factor okay the third is your proximity to the other airport whether at how much distance the other airport is situated or the distance between the two consecutive airport 
so this will also need to be study before the airport site selection fourth is your ground accessibility so what are the means of accessibility for the airport because the airport is generally constructed at the outskirt of the city so what are the means of reaching the airport site whether it is uh, metro in the metro cities whether the facilities for the metros is there okay whether it is uh, located along the major market area so what sort of public transport facility is available to reach the airport okay fifth is your topography topography is in fact very very important factor and in fact it is the most critical factor of the site selection you should be well aware whether your plane is hilly terrain or whether it is normal plane and rolling terrain what sort of terrain is there or what sort of atmospheric condition is there what sort of general topography is there for the airport site selection okay because it is very easy to construct the airport in the plain areas at the same time it is very very difficult to construct the airport at the hilly areas or at the extreme hostile environmental conditions okay sixth is your obstruction generally in order to avoid the clear visibility the airport is usually constructed at the outskirt of the city or at the, at the outer periphery of the city okay so where the crowd is less where there are large open areas available because for the efficient operation of your aircraft a sufficient visibility should be there there should not be any there should not be much construction around side of the airport okay so there should be the clear visibility must be for the aircraft operation okay seventh is your visibility that is also related with the obstruction in one or other way okay so a large high rise building should not be there along the path of your runway or along the periphery of your air port okay so this ensure the sufficient visibility eighth is your wind wind is very important because wind act as your disturbing force and the wind act as your supporting force it depends on the orientation of the wind and the direction of flowing of a wind so the orientation of the airport is very much along the direction of prevailing wind okay so the wind study is also very difficult because it can make the landing and the take off operation very critical if we do not study what is the pattern of wind flowing along the area where we are going to construct the airport then it can adversely affect my landing and take off operation okay next is your noise nuisance you should also know that that the op, that the aircraft create a very large amount of noise okay so this can disturb a lot of living organism including the innocent animals birds and moreover the locality which is there around the aircraft so you should have the proper noise reduction devices in the form of noise breakers in the form of thermocoles in the form of high rise boundaries in the form of establishment of the trees around your aircraft okay so the noise also plays a very important role now the next is your grading drainage and the soil characteristic okay so you should also ensure that your aircraft airport site should not be along the downstream side because it will be flooded during the rainy season you should study you should be very well aware about the soil characteristic what is the soil bearing capacity what is the nature of soil because ultimately our runway pavement should be supported on the soil and the soil should have the sufficient bearing capacity to handle the very high amount of aircraft okay next is your future development the air you should also study whether the future development will take place around the locality whether your air port construction will be on the benefit scenario is there any negative consequences of your airport selection site so this future development plays a very important role as if the development takes place in your area then certainly the number of passengers using the aircraft will increase and this will increase your profit margin for the aviation department okay so this factor you should also keep in mind next is the availability of the utilities from the town so whether the basic utilities in the form of electricity line water supply lines gas lines gas pipelines uh, and the other utilities like hospitals markets etc should be available near the air port site okay the last but not the least the economic consideration before site selecting the site you should have the multiple number of site options available to you 
and you should also be able to perform the cost benefit analysis and among the option available you should select the most feasible one that is the one which give the maximum benefit with the minimum co cost of construction okay so all these factors plays a very important role in our airport site selection and we have discussed each and every factor in the brief okay now we are going to discuss what are the survey is to be performed for the site selection earlier we have discussed the factors affecting the site selection now we are going to discuss what are the surveys performed for the site selection the first is very important that is the traffic survey just like your highway engineering you perform the traffic survey that is the amount of traffic which is going to use the road similarly we will perform the air traffic survey and we will come across what is the peak air traffic volume and what are the number of aircraft using the particular route or what will be the likely number to be increased in our near future okay to determine the number of amount of air traffic including the anticipated traffic for the future okay the second is your meteorological survey meteorological survey is very important to determine the direction duration and intensity of wind rainfall fog temperature and barometric pressure because the environment in the operation of aircraft because the environment plays a very important role in the operation of your aircraft aircraft operation during the foggy weather condition during the rainy season and other extreme environmental condition makes the operation very difficult so you should be very well aware about the general meteorological feature of the area okay you should be well aware of the direction of intensity of the wind blowing in the area and whether the in area comes under the severe wind blowing blowing zone or the minor wind blowing zone or the moderate wind blowing zone what type of zone is there in terms of blowing of wind you should all these factors plays a very important role in the operation of aircraft and that's why this meteorological study plays a very important role the third is your topographical survey in the topographical survey you should have a general you should have in your mind what is the general topography of the area you should have the contour map with you you should be well aware of the other features like trees streams mountains that come in the locality okay and you should ha also have the plan showing the pole lines buildings road etc along uh, along side of the site selection so this all comes under the topographic survey the next one which is also very important that is the soil survey the soil survey is done to determine what is the type of soil what is the condition of ground water table okay and what is its effect or what is its impact during the rainy season how it loses its bearing capacity whether the soil is able to bear the load of fully loaded aircraft and how it will behave under the dynamic loading and the under the static wheel load okay the next survey is very important it is the drainage survey so the drainage survey is drainage survey is done to determine the quantity of the storm water for the drainage because during the rainy season your airport site will be can be flooded or it can also be subjected to the heavy rainfall so in order to avoid the extreme environmental condition and to ensure the free and the smooth operation of aircraft you should ensure that there should be the proper flow for the drainage water or the storm water your runway site should not be flooded as it will affect your runway uh, aircraft operation and maintenance okay in the drainage survey you will determine what is the amount of rainfall that an area can receive what is the intensity of the maximum amount of rainfall okay and you should also be be able to locate the possible outlet for the drain water what are the suitable sites for the outlet of the drainage water so that our runway area will remain free from the flooded situation okay so all these things comes under the drainage survey the last but not the least that is your material survey under the material survey you have certain the availability of the suitable construction material okay that should be available at a reasonable cost and what is the mode of transportation of these material okay so you should be calculating that the the site whether the query material whether the construction material is available at the site itself or whether you need to transport it at some from some other location by some other means so what sort of material availability and material transportability and the material quality that all comes under your material survey so all these surveys you need to perform before the selection of any site for the airport construction okay so this completes our first topic in the airport engineering okay that's all